Hello dear students, today we are going to discuss the preparation of the alkanes with the help of coal by electrolysis process. So then what is the coal by electrolysis process? What substances we are using in this process mean we are using a sodium or potassium salt of carboxylic acid. Sodium or potassium salt of carboxylic acid we are using from that salt we are getting the alkanes. So how we are getting the alkanes from the sodium or potassium salt of carboxylic acid let us see. So first uh, I am going to prepare the sodium salt of carboxylic acid. So for that I am taking first uh, a carboxylic acid, acetic acid I am taking and this is uh, I am reacting with uh, a base sodium hydroxide. So generally acid releases the H plus ions and base releases the OH minus ion. Now when acid and base will be react, it will be form the salt and water. So the salt what is going to form? Sodium salt of acetic acid. The salt is sodium salt of acetic acid. At the same time, water is forming. So this we can say sodium salt of carboxylic acid. And this sodium salt of carboxylic acid we are using to prepare the alkanes. We can use the sodium salt of carboxylic acid or we can use the potassium salt of carboxylic acid also we can use. So now let us see potassium salt of carboxylic acid how can you prepare. Same way I am taking acetic acid and this acetic acid I am reacting with the potassium hydroxide. We know that potassium hydroxide is a base and the acetic acid is an acid and acetic acid releases the H plus ion sodium or potassium hydroxide releases the OH minus ion. Now we are H plus and this is a OH minus will be formed the water the remaining is the estate ion and your potassium ion. So now estate ion and potassium ion will be combined form the potassium salt of acetic acid and H plus and OH minus is combined forms the water. So now this is the preparation of the sodium salt of acetic acid and potassium salt of acetic acid. By using these substances or by using this mixture we can prepare the alkanes and the process we call as a coal bay electrolysis process mean by applying the electricity we are using the or we are preparing the alkanes. So let us see how can you prepare the alkanes by using this mixture. So for that I am taking one electrolytic cell I am taking for the preparation of that I am taking one electrolytic cell. So this is a one electrolytic cell I am taking in this electrolytic cell a mixture of salt and water I am taking. In this electrolytic cell, I am taking the mixture of salt and water that may be sodium salt of acetic acid or maybe potassium salt of acetic acid and uh, water. So now this is the electrolytic cell which is having the two electrodes it is having. I am arranging the two electrodes I am arranging. One of the electrode is act as a cathode and the other electrode is act as a anode. So now these two electrodes with the help of wire I am attaching to the battery. I am attaching to the battery. One of the electrode is act as a cathode and the other electrode is act as a anode. This is anode and this is act as a cathode. So when you pass the electricity, whatever the substances you take in here mean sodium salt of potassium, sodium salt or potassium salt of carboxylic acid and water by passing electricity the substances will be break into ions. So let us see how it will be break into ion. For example, I am taking sodium salt of carboxylic acid I am taking. This sodium salt of carboxylic acid will be split into estate ion plus a sodium ion. Next uh, water, one more substance is water. So the water also will be split into H plus ion plus a OH minus ion. H plus ion and OH minus ion. So totally I am taking the one of the mixture either sodium salt of potassium either sodium salt of carboxylic acid or potassium salt of carboxylic acid we can take whatever the salt you can take it will be split into ions one is a cation another one is anion at the same time water also split into H plus and OH minus ion now by these combination we can prepare the alkanes so generally I am writing the direct equation first of all how can you prepare the alkanes so let us see the mechanism so for this process for the preparation of the alkanes I am taking the sodium or potassium salt of carboxylic acid I am taking so directly reaction here directly preparation of the alkane I am taking the sodium or potassium salt of the carboxylic acid and in the presence of water I am applying the electricity the process we call as a electrolysis process. So in this process the products are forming ethane is one of the product at the same time sodium hydroxide is one of the product and carbon dioxide is one of the product 
and hydrogen gas is one of the product so totally these are the products is forming by using the sodium salt of carboxylic acid or by using the potassium salt of carboxylic acid so let us see mechanism how these completely is forming how ethane is forming sodium hydroxide carbon dioxide water how it is forming will be discussed in the mechanism step by step and in this process once you can observe your carbon dioxide gas also releasing so the process where the carbon dioxide gas is releases that we can say decarboxylation reaction so we can say this is a, a decarboxylation process we can say this is a decarboxylation process because here carbon dioxide gas is releasing right so now this is the what a preparation of the alkane by using their sodium salt or potassium salt of the carboxylic acid and will be discuss the each every step in the mechanism once you take the screenshot so next one <coughs> next one here if you see the data by passing the electricity we are getting the two ions we are getting one is a acetate ion at the same time sodium ion and h plus and oh minus so now here four ions i am getting one is a ch3co minus at the same time na plus and oh minus and h plus so totally these four ions we are getting by passing the electricity through the solution now here sodium plus and oh minus will be combined and forming the product naoh one of the product is formed that is a sodium hydroxide so then the remaining is what is there acetate ion is there and h plus ion is there now in the electrolysis process we taken the two electrodes we taken one is act as a cathode another one is act as a an anode now here also we have two ions we are having one is a cation one is anion so in the electrolysis process anions will be go towards the anode side and cations will be go towards the cathode side because always oppositely charged always the ions are go towards the oppositely charged particle side same here also this is acetate ion having negative charge negative charge means we called as a anion so anion goes towards the anode side because anode having the positive charge and here this is the cation cation goes towards the cathode side because cathode having the negative charge so now these ions are going to the going towards the respective opposite electrode side now at anode and at cathode what reaction is takes place let us see at anode and uh, at cathode at anode and at cathode two reactions i am writing you at anode what is going towards the anode side anion what is that acetate ion at cathode means cathode side what is going cathode what is that h plus ion so let us see at anode side anode side what is the h possible here at anode oxidation takes place at anode what is takes place oxidation is takes place oxidation mean loss of electron oxidation means what is takes place here loss of electron now here this anode side anion will be go that is a acetate ion now this acetate ion ch3co minus ch3co minus it is losing the one electron and converted to ch3co free radical and converted to what ch3co free radical because at anode oxidation takes place oxidation means what losing of electron and acetate ion having the two electrons because of that we are writing as a minus charge from that one electron is losing and converting into free radical now this is possible at anode next at cathode h plus ion will be enter it towards the cathode now at cathode what reaction takes place reduction reaction takes place it mean gaining of electron it mean what gaining of electron takes place whatever the electron is releasing at the anode that electron takes by the h plus and it is converted to h is converted to h so now next process still more process is there so what is the next process here this is acetate free radical we are getting what we are getting here acetate free radical if you see the acetate free radical ch3 c double bond o o free radical this is the acetate free radical now whatever the carbon to carbon bond is area this bond also break equally homolytic cleavage is takes place when homolytic cleavage is takes place one electron will be present on the ch3 one electron will be present on the carbon so at that time what is takes place here let us see one is ch3 free radical at the same time on the carbon one free radical is a 
and one carbon to oxygen double bond and another oxygen single bond and here also one free radical. Now these two free radicals will be combined and forming the carbon to oxygen double bond it represents the carbon dioxide. It represents what? Carbon dioxide. So now carbon dioxide gas is formed. Carbon dioxide gas is formed and this is what? A methyl free radical. A methyl free radical mean coal by electrolysis process. In coal by electrolysis process free radicals are takes place. In coal by electrolysis process free radical process or free radicals are possible in the coal by electrolysis process. Now whatever the CH3 free radical is forming. So this is when you are taking one mole of when you are taking one mole of sodium salt of acetic acid one CH3 free radical you are getting if you take the two moles of if you take the two moles of CH3 COO Na if you take the two moles of sodium salt of carboxylic acid two CH3 free radicals will be get the two CH3 free radical the two CH3 free radical will be combined and forming a ethane. So now here this is the procedure of the formation of the ethane. At the same time, one mole of sodium salt of acetic acid giving one carbon dioxide. If I take the two moles, two moles of carbon dioxide is possible. At the same time, two moles of sodium hydroxide is possible. And one more thing, when I am taking one mole of sodium salt of acetic acid and one mole of water, one mole of water when I am taking, one H plus is coming and that is converting it to H. If I am taking 2 moles of H2O, 2 H plus will become and here 2 electrons are releases. This 2 H plus react with the 2 electron and converting it to H2. Now here H2 gas also releases. Here H2 gas also releases. So now what happened? 2 moles of sodium salt of acetic acid is giving the ethane and carbon dioxide and sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. So this is the entire products what is releasing in the sodium salt of carboxylic acid. So mainly what is forming here? Alkanes are forming at the same time carbon dioxide gas is releasing. Because of the releasing of carbon dioxide gas, we call this is the decarboxylation process and one of the process free radicals also we are getting. So in coal bay electrolysis process, free radicals will be possible. At the same time, carbon dioxide gas is releases due to the releasing of the carbon dioxide gas, we call this is the decarboxylation process. So this is the formation of the alkane from their carboxylic acid or from their salt of the carboxylic acid. So take the screenshot. Next, uh, for example, if I take the, <coughs> for example, if I take the potassium salt of potassium salt or sodium salt of propanoic acid, if I am taking, for example, I am taking the CH3, CH2, COO, NA. So, same process in the Kolbe electrolysis, I am taking the water and uh, in the electrolysis process, whatever the products are forming here. So let us see whatever the products are forming here. Here a mixture of the products are possible. A mixture of the products are possible. Let us see what is the mixture of the products here. So generally from here, generally if you see that when I am taking the two moles, when I am taking the two moles of water, sodium salt of carboxylic acid and two moles of water. So generally we can guess that here sodium and here OHS. So finally it gives a sodium hydroxide and here COO that means is converted to carbon dioxide. So now the products are possible because of the COO is there, 2 moles of carbon dioxide are possible and 2 moles of sodium and here 2 moles of OH and converting into 2 moles of sodium hydroxide. At the same time here CH3, CH2 free radical, another CS3, CS2 free radical also takes place by the combination of that CH3, CH2, CH2, CS3 product is forming. So this is a forming of what? Butane. If the product is forming is what butane is forming so now here a mixture of the product is forming not only butane not only butane a mixture of the products is forming here the butane is forming by the process of association here the butane is forming by the process of association next disproportionation reaction also takes place here disproportionation reaction also takes place so in the disproportionation reaction, we get the different products we are getting. So let us see whatever the different products we are getting in the disproportionation reaction. So before that, we can understand here CH3, CH2 is there. Here this bond will be break. Here this bond is break. When this bond is break, we will get the CH3, CH2 free radical. 
CH3CH2 free radical and uh, we are taking the two moles of the product we are taking sorry two moles of the substances we are taking it means another CH3CH2 free radical also takes place once again we are taking the two moles of <coughs> we are taking the two moles of sodium salt of water propionic acid we are taking and from that CH3CH2 free radical two moles of free radicals we are getting and when it is undergoing the disproportionation process for example here from the CH3 this CH3 I am writing as a CH2 and H CH2 and H now carbon to hydrogen whatever the bond is there this bond is break equal when the bond is break equally on this carbon free radical will be get and this hydrogen also one free radical so now due to the this carbon free radical we are getting already on this carbon also one more free radical is here now it will become ch2 free radical and ch2 free radical now here free radical here free radical these two free radical will be combined and forms a double bond between the ch2 ch2 and plus whatever the H free radical whatever the hydrogen free radical forming this hydrogen free radical will be go to here and the CH2 free radical converted to CH2 so now this is the mixture of the products we are getting and in this process whatever the butane we are getting that is called as a what association process and whatever the alkene and the alkene we are getting this is we can say disproportionation process so when I am taking the water uh, ethanoic acid or when I am taking the sodium salt of propanoic acid when I am taking or potassium salt of propanoic acid when I am taking a mixture of the products are forming that is one is butane is forming that we can say association process in the disproportionation process two products are forming one is alkene is forming and one more is a uh, ethane is forming so this is the one disproportionation and one is what association process so this is a uh, what a different kind of properties forming or different kind of substances forming but mainly we are discussing for the preparation of the alkene so here alkene is forming and here also alkene is forming and alkene also forming but mainly we are giving the major priority for the formation of the alkane by the process of association right so this is the today's session and uh, <coughs> thank you